In the heart of an empire forged in conquest, where the glint of eagles gleamed on victorious standards, a shadow fell upon the eternal metropolis. Rome, a colossus of the known world, trembled beneath the weight of one ruler. For we are about to witness the rise and fall of a monster, a descent into madness that forever stained the Roman Empire. This is the life of Nero, the emperor, the artist, the madman, who might have been the most brutal emperor in ancient Rome. Born in 37 AD, Nero's path to the throne was paved with ambition and manipulation. His mother, Agrippina the Younger, was a woman with a fierce hunger for power. She ensured Nero received an education fit for an emperor, even scheming to have him adopted by the aging emperor Claudius. Claudius, however, was not easily swayed. But Agrippina, relentless in her pursuit, allegedly poisoned Claudius, paving the way for her 16-year-old son to become emperor in 54 AD. Nero's reign saw a period of relative peace and prosperity. He surrounded himself with wise advisors like the philosopher Seneca and the Praetorian prefect Berhus. The people adored their young emperor, who loved music and theater. But beneath the surface, darkness lurked. Nero, increasingly isolated by advisors and consumed by paranoia, turned against his own family. He allegedly poisoned his stepbrother Britannicus and forced his wife Octavia into exile. In 64 AD, disaster struck. A fire erupted in Rome, raging for six days and destroying a vast portion of the city. While the cause remains unknown, legend has it that Nero himself fiddled as the flames consumed the city. This story, likely embellished, highlights the public perception of his indifference. In a desperate attempt to shift blame, Nero scapegoated the unpopular Christian minority, accusing them of arson. This marked the beginning of a brutal persecution, with Christians facing torture and execution. But Nero's greatest cruelty was reserved for his own mother, Agrippina. Fearing her influence and control, Nero devised a series of elaborate plots to kill her. Finally, he ordered the construction of a collapsing ship, intending for her to drown in a tragic accident. When that failed, he resorted to a more brutal solution, sending assassins to murder his own mother. Nero's paranoia and bloodlust continued to spiral. He executed senators on flimsy pretenses, lavished himself in extravagant luxuries, and even competed as a charioteer, often cheating to win. The people of Rome grew increasingly disillusioned. In 68 AD, rebellions erupted across the empire. Nero, abandoned by his Praetorian guard, became a fugitive. Facing a humiliating capture, he took his own life, uttering the famous line, Quali's artifacts Perio, what an artist dies in me. Nero's reign was a tumultuous period, marked by fire, persecution, and family murders. While some argue that other emperors, like Commodus or Caracalla, were equally brutal, Nero's reign stands out for the sheer audacity and disregard for tradition. His legacy serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and the devastating consequences of a leader consumed by paranoia and ambition. Whether Nero was the absolute worst emperor is debatable. However, his reign serves as a powerful symbol of cruelty and tyranny. Was Nero the most brutal emperor in ancient Rome? The answer, like the fire that consumed Rome, is complex. But one thing remains certain, his reign serves as a dramatic and horrifying chapter in Roman history, a cautionary tale of unchecked power and the devastating consequences. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more epic explorations into the past. Let us know in the comments below, who do you think was the most brutal emperor in ancient Rome? Was it Nero, or was there another who deserves that title? Thank you for watching.